Hello, I'm Linda Jacobsen, Director of the East Asia Programme here at the Lowy Institute. I'm joined today by Bonnie Glazer, Senior Advisor for Asia at CSIS Washington DC. Welcome Bonnie. Hi. Bonnie is here in Sydney uh, because she's presented a paper at the Lowy Institute workshop on East China Sea tensions. Now this recent summit between Presidents Obama and Xi uh, did it have any effect, do you think, in moving towards some kind of managing of tensions over the Senkaku Diaoyu? From what I have heard and read, it seems to me that Xi Jinping took a consistently tough position on uh, the Senkaku Diaoyu issues as well as on the territorial disputes in the South China Sea. I think this is not surprising. Um, at the same time, uh, I would guess that there was uh, an understanding that uh, this is not something that should come to blows because neither Japan, China, uh, nor the United States has any interest in a military conflict over these islands. Absolutely, yes. And what was your uh, assessment of the uh, C. Uh, Obama summit? What do you think came out of it that was of importance? I think it was very good that it took place. Um, I think it was really um, a big step forward that they were able to agree on such an informal summit um, so early on. Um, and it's always good that the two leaders uh, familiarize themselves with each other. But I would caution people to be too optimistic or have unrealistic expectations um, on the basis of this summit, simply because in both capitals the presidents are constrained by domestic factors, and especially in Xi's case. I think um, however charming, um, approachable, um, he is, however different he is from his predecessor, there are still very strong interest groups who will constrain his behavior when it comes to the relationship with the United States. Well, I, I think we are in a better position than we were before the meeting. I think it does provide some hope going forward uh, that there can be a little bit more clarity about each other's positions and the challenges that both presidents face at home. And maybe that will find, at least maybe that will provide a bit of a basis for some understanding going forward. But I am also not overly optimistic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Linda.